tracking the tropics where Karen is losing strength. It was just downgraded to a tropical depression. But of course, all of our attention is on the weekend and what we can expect to see in terms of our weather here. CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is here now with everything you want to know. Lisette. <laughs> yes, that's right, Lauren and Maribel. And as we look at the latest advisory from Karen, now downgraded to a depression, it is moving northeast, northeast at 8 miles an hour with max seen winds of 35 miles an hour, about 390 miles southeast of Bermuda forecast to likely stall out tonight before it takes that loop and then moves west and it really expected to dissipate to a remnant area of low pressure as we head into Saturday and Sunday. That'll likely be the end of Karen. And of course, we'll watch the remnants. But as we take a look at what's what's going on, really weakening and beginning to dissipate there. But Hurricane Lorenzo, that is a beast of a hurricane category four out in the middle Atlantic. Max is seeing winds of 140 miles an hour moving north northwest at 14 forecast become a cat three as we head in through tonight and into tomorrow through the weekend then turning northeast and then eventually could be passing near or over portions of the Azores as a category one hurricane the middle of next week. Now locally we have a flood advisory until 2 p.m. for the lower keys because of persistent showers and minor coastal flooding and we are mainly dry around the rest of South Florida but I'll of course have your weekend forecast in just a few minutes.